This is the first out of two comments in relation to Holder inequality. And uh, in these comments, I'll present a very simple version of this Holder inequality, uh, which is like so. If I have a function which is integrable with respect to some measure space, and if I have a function which is essentially bounded with respect to the same measure space, then the Holder inequality says this. The integral of product, pointwise product, never exceeds the right-hand side like this. Um, it is a bit of a stretch to call this whole inequality, but because uh, I present this in a framework of the general held inequality, which will be proved in the next comments, that's the reason I call this comments also held inequality. Now, just for your convenience, I'll recall what's the definition of the essential supremum is, what's the definition of the norm of G from here. Now, here's a proof. It's a very simple proof. Well, all we have to do, we have to interpret what, it, what this means. We have to interpret this infimum, and that means that for positive epsilon, there is a set measurable such that we have such control. We have such control for the supremum of G over the set A, and also, uh, also the measure of the complement is zero. Yeah, because this, the infimum here is taken over all those subsets which are measurable and uh, for which the complement is measure zero. That's the definition of the essential supremum or definition of the norm here. Now, given such a set, I can now argue this inequality almost straightforwardly from from comparison principle, like this. First, I will observe that if I compute the integral, I can, due to addi additivity of the integral, split it over the integral over A, an integral over complement of A. This piece is zero, because the underlying set is measure zero. And so we end up with the integral like that. So rather than estimating this integral, I will estimate the integral like this. Now, for the last one, I will observe the following comparison. The function fg indicator a, like this, is controlled by the supremum of g over this subset a times f. This is just a number. So this is a comparison principle. If I use this comparison principle, I can say that the integral of fg product, which is identical to this, is controlled by this number, which is in turn, in its turn, controlled by this number. Here it is, times the l1 or the integral of this function, here it is. Given that this is true for every epsilon and nothing else in this inequality beside this term depends on epsilon, that brings us to the held inequality in this form. And that's that's how we prove this simple version of held inequality. Uh, the second part of this comment is in relation to what is called sharpness. Uh, that's the statement that this inequality is sharp. You cannot improve it in general. And the sharpness takes the following form. Uh, supremum, like this, supremum of the left-hand side here, where f runs across all integral functions with the condition that the integral of the absolute value doesn't exceed 1. This supremum will deliver the this factor. This factor is 1 for this supremum. That's the one version of sharpness. The other version of sharpness is like this. Supremum where you run now G freely, again with the condition that G, the essential supreme of G doesn't exceed 1, is also give uh, equal to equal to the second factor, in fact, here. And that's two versions of sharpness which which are connected with my with this whole inequality. Uh, I think you understand that the the whole inequality itself obviously delivers the this inequality here. And it delivers this inequality here. So the argument for sharpness have to show the opposite, has to show the opposite inequality like this here and here. Uh, out of these two statements, the easier one is this one. So I will argue this one first. All I have to do, I have to present the representative here. Uh, I have to find a function g which is essentially bounded and for which the essential norm doesn't exceed one such that this integral delivers this value, 
just one representative will do and here it is I can give you this representative very explicit uh, I'll choose a function which is equal to this value when the f of x is now 0 and the one which is 0 otherwise so we choose a function like that uh, clearly that if I multiply g with f if I look at this integrand it will be just absolute value of f so this integral truly delivers this value also it is very simple to observe that actually the the essential supremum of my g function is 1 so this g function is in fact part of this set over which I take my supremum by the way it's a matter of terminology this set sometimes referred to is the unit ball of L infinity and this one is actually referred to as a unit ball of L1 and that's 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 that finishes the argument which show which shows that the this version of sharpness is correct now for this version of sharpness uh, we have to put a little bit more effort in fact I have to interpret this infimum again but this time I have to interpret it differently that's how, that's how I'm going to do that I claim that for every positive epsilon there is a measurable subset such that it is of positive measure and such that uh, my function exceeds this slightly reduced value for every x over this subset a uh, the reason why we have such a subset the reason why we have such a subset in fact in fact I didn't say it here explicitly but I can in fact choose this a quite explicitly like this uh, in fact this set a uh, the existence of which is claimed in this line you can choose this set a like this a will be the collect uh, all those points where function g bigger than this number This is a direct choice for A. The reason why this A, well, obviously this condition is satisfied for such A. The reason why this A of positive measure, you can see this by contradiction. If you assume that A is of zero measure, you can drop this A in this infimum consideration, and then your supremum over the rest of the set will be less than this value. So you can lower the essential supremum. That's the contradiction with the definition of it. And that's why this A will be of positive measure. Yeah. Uh, right, so that's why we have this statement. And now I can use this A to show that, in fact, there is a representative in this unit ball, in the unit ball of L1, which at, uh, on which the left-hand side will attain this value. Look, I'm going to choose this representative. Is my representative. I choose the indicator of this subset A divided by the length uh, by the measure of this subset A because this is a non-zero value. I can divide. It is a straightforward observation that uh, the integral of the absolute value of this function is one. So this is truly the member of the unit ball. Okay? Now, when you look at the integral like this, that's what I see. Uh, the integral of the product fg, if you sub in your choice for f, it will be this one. Over set a, my function g is larger than this, so by the comparison principle, you continue. You replace this function with a lower value. Uh, this is a factor which we had, and that's the integral of the a set. Which do we was just which will cancel this factor, and altogether we end up with the value like that. So we see that the integral like this, which sits under this absolute value, it will have the value of at least like this because epsilon was positive, non, uh, because epsilon was arbitrary positive number. You have the supremum equal to this. Uh, I observe that there is a difference between these two. There is a slight very tiny difference between these two sharpness statements here you have a 
supremo which is attained, you, you, I give you the one single representative where the value of supremum is attained, whereas here the supremum in general is not attained. You have a, in fact, you in general you have a sequence of the functions uh, over which you will approach this value. You have to choose your epsilon smaller and smaller. For every next epsilon, you will have a different function f, and this value will approach here.